never quit. Remember this, nothing worth doing ever, ever, ever came easy. Following your convictions means you must be willing to face criticism from those who lack the same courage to do what is right, what you can achieve when you start small, pursue a big vision, and never, ever quit. You never quit. If I give you one message to hold in your hearts today, it's this. Never, ever give up. I've seen so many brilliant people. They gave up in life. They were totally brilliant. They were top of their class. They were the best students. They were the best of everything. They gave up. Always have the courage to be yourself. Most importantly, you have to do what you want. You have to do what you want. You have to do what you love. Or you most likely won't be very successful. Then ask yourself, with all of those blessings, and all of the blessings that you've been given, what will you give back to this country and indeed to the world? What imprint will you leave in the sands of history? They know what is right, but they don't have the courage or the guts or the stamina to take it and to do it. Did we dare to defy expectations? Did we challenge accepted wisdom and take on established circumstances? Did we just go along with convention, swim downstream so easily with the current, and just give in because it was the easy way, it was the traditional way, how it was the accepted way. No doubt many people told him his vision was impossible. I'm sure they continued to say that so long after he started. At the beginning with just 154 students. Now you must go forth into the world and turn your hopes and dreams into action. But the fact is, no one has ever achieved anything significant without a chorus of critics standing on the sidelines explaining why it can't be done. The future belongs to the people who follow their heart no matter what the critics say because they truly believe in their vision. Nothing is easier or more pathetic than being a critic. Because there are people that can't get the job done. But the future belongs to the dreamers, not to the critics. Go back home and tell mom, dad, I can go. I can do it. I will do it. You're going to be successful. There'll be times in your life you'll want to quit. You'll want to go home. You'll want to go home perhaps to that wonderful mother that's sitting back there watching you and saying, Mom, I can't do it. I can't do it. Just never quit. Never stop fighting for what you believe in and for the people who care about you. Carry yourself with dignity and pride. Demand the best from yourself and be totally unafraid to challenge entrenched interests and failed power and structures. I've seen others who really didn't have that talent or that ability and they're among the most successful people today in the world because they never quit and they never give up. The more people tell you it's not possible, that it can't be done, the more you should be absolutely determined to prove them wrong. Treat the word impossible as nothing more than motivation. Relish the opportunity to be an outsider. The more that a broken system tells you that you're wrong, the more certain you should be that you must keep pushing ahead. You must keep pushing forward. Being an outsider is fine. Embrace the land. Because it's the outsiders who change the world. Make a real and lasting difference. I've seen so many people. Sometimes
times in Gita wa fundisha To go down a path that they don't want to go down To go down a path that leads them to something that they don't know That they don't enjoy Gita wa fundisha I've seen so many instances where people with great talent Want to do things that they didn't know And they fail Sometimes in life to be successful Oftentimes, most of the time you have to follow your instincts. You have to follow your gut. You have to. Your parents may say wrong. Your whoever may say wrong. But you have to do it. I, I would always say to people, and I'd see people, and I'd say, you gotta love what you do. Because you know, if you love what you do, you work harder. But it's not work. I've seen people that almost made it and failed because they couldn't go that extra mile. They couldn't do it. So you get something, you never ever quit, never ever give up. You've got to love what you do. You've got to work hard. Never ever quit. Never ever give up. Because that's the other thing. I've seen people that are super genius, but they don't have that gut feeling. People that can handle pressure, they need, can be entrepreneurs, can be successful. Now I have some friends that are really, really smart, but they can't handle pressure. In which case they should work for somebody to great and have a good life. There's nothing wrong with it. You have to have an ability to handle pressure. Because you, no matter how successful you are, I have many, many friends and enemies, a lot of enemies too, I don't care, but this one. I have a lot of enemies, and I've watched people, and I've seen it. One of the things I tell people about pressure is, you know what, they said, how do you handle pressure? Who's had more pressure than me? Ay, ay, ay. Have I had pressure over the years? And, you know, you have to remember, it doesn't matter. God matters, your family matters. It doesn't matter. And if you say it, to, I have some people, they say, I've got to be successful. I've got to be They'll never be successful, it's too crazy. You've gotta be able, you've gotta be able to sort of say